might be the biggest California roll made to date. Hey, galera! It's Uwe Miki. Hey, it's Uwe Miki. And this is Suji Gigante. Obrigado por assistir. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, guys. Miki Sudo here. I'm here with Nick. Today we're making a giant sushi roll. Julio and Ana from Casal Nascimento Official reached out to us and decided it would be fun that both of us try to make a, and roll and consume a giant sushi roll. The specific ingredients were left to the teams to decide on their own. So we decided to take this as an opportunity to buy local. We found our produce at a locally owned market. Avocados, cucumber. The imitation crab was on clearance. <laughs> the nori, seaweed, roasted sesame seeds, and the sushi rice. How are you preparing the cucumbers? I'm just going to quarter and try to keep them in as long a piece as possible. Let's pick something like that. We've come maybe one more time. If the roll's like that thick, my teeth are going to have to go through it likewise. That would be biting food. Yes. <laughs> we're doing eights. So it has some give while we're rolling it, but still some structural integrity so it doesn't just fall all over the place when we're rolling this. And that's a complete guess. I think we just want quarter inch strips. Kids at home, don't cut towards your hand. I am a big fan of imitation of that person one. They're like an ocean hot dog. They're like string cheese. We've got all of our ingredients prepped. So the inspiration video, or the guideline video, used 18 sheets of nori. So we've got 20 here. We're going to use 18 in a 3 by 6 formulation. We want the shiny side down, rough side up. Honestly, I'm not really competitive with eating it quickly or the bigger one. I want to see if theirs came together as smoothly as ours did. Progress, 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 progress. progress. <laughs> um, oh, we're going too. I got we're getting right. aggressive. Oh my god, I made a mistake. I made what a mistake. What's going on? <laughs> oh, when we go to All You Can Eat Sushi, do you think we go through 18 nori sheets worth of sushi? I'd say so. Oh, totally. Making this is the more difficult part. Eating's gonna be the easy part. 39 inches long, 21 inches wide. So it'll be about 21 inches long, I guess, once it's rolled. Aww. Rice time? Rice time. What do you guys think? Is this rice gonna fit on this mat? Ready for this? Yeah. I don't think all of it will fit in the 18 sheets of nori that we're going to use. We'll get as many ingredients as you can get in there. Everything else we'll probably just eat afterwards in a more you know, slow, enjoyable fashion. String cheese of the sea. <laughs> Alright, let's roll this. Okay. Wow! I'm impressed with this so far. I feel like we could have fit more. Okay, ready? <gasps> I'm so proud of us right now. I think we're in. That's not bad! <laughs> I'm just like that it all came together. How much did this weigh? A little over 10 pounds. Watch your fingers. Yeah, I just want to thank Julio and Anna real quick. This was an awesome idea, and I'm really excited to eat it. Is this even? Too late now. Is it all gone? Oh. I can't even see it yet. Is it beautiful? Whoa! It's gonna fall out. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm so impressed. This is pretty awesome. Honestly, this is way better than I thought it was going to be. I'd say this is a success. Each piece is just about a pound or just over a pound a piece. Itadakimasu! The rice is seasoned well. Yeah, I'm proud of us. The rice is not gummy and packed down. The seaweed still has like a flaky crunch to it. Mm -hmm. the avocados, I can't take credit for those, but those were perfect. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm eating a burrito like the wrong way, but what can you do? Are you eating this like a 
cinnamon roll? Like a Cinnabon? Like if you were to unravel it? I don't eat Cinnabons like that. I'm trying not to make a mess. Mm. Okay, more like fruit by the foot style. Mm. Again, it's imitation crab. It's not everybody's thing. But if I ordered a California roll at a restaurant, I'd be happy with the quality of this. California rolls, I feel like, are a good palate cleanser between specialty That's rolls. That's a good point. For today's challenge, I wanted to be drinking hot green tea. We didn't have any, so I went with your regular black tea. And I have my trusty mango pineapple grape value, Mio. Sushi roll number two. So each slice is about two and a quarter regular sushi rolls. Maybe a little bit more because yeah. we really pack them with ingredients. Yeah, two and a half okay. sushi rolls depending on which where you're going. Where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I need to focus. Yeah, this is definitely more than two and a half sushi rolls in my hand, I think. No. Maybe not. I'm really embarrassed at the mess that I'm making right now. Ah. <laughs> this is just cookie dough, <laughs> dyed green. Never do that with wasabi. That is probably legitimately dangerous. Roll number three, or sushi slice number three. Looks like a bunch of colorful fish like hiding from a predator. <laughs> coral. Yeah, should have hidden better. It's more like a sushi sandwich when you do this. I'm just thinking I'm glad we didn't use salmon. Yo. <laughs> By the time we made it, it would have been warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want that. Our other ideas were canned tuna. So oh. spicy tuna roll, but with canned tuna. We're even making the imitation crab into like a uh, crab salad. Mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. We could do a deep fried roll. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that would work. We need like a turkey fryer or something. I feel like that's how house fires start. <laughs> yeah, the second thought was not. What are we racing now? Oh, I didn't realize it's on your plate. I mean, cookie dough. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not racing, I'm just eating cookie dough. I like sometimes to spray a little bit of sesame oil on my sushi. Last piece. I'm gonna save the prettiest for last. And I say, I think this is a work of art. What kind of massive desserts do we have planned? Mmm, like a mega cookie sandwich. It's an ice cream sandwich, but... Oh, cookie sandwich. I think it's called an ice cream sandwich. Dude, I didn't even know what you were talking about. Tell her down below. <laughs> I didn't even know what you were talking about. Ice cream sandwich. We have a nonsense cardboard chocolate wafer with ice cream in between. That's nice. They're all thing. called ice cream sandwiches. There's nothing, called, there's nothing such as a cookie sandwich. No. It's called Chip Witch for most of the time, but it's called Cook Sandwich. Please tell her down below. I don't think that's a thing. Comment down below so uh -huh. you're wrong. If you like this video, feel free to like, share, subscribe.
Coming. Coming. Hit that notification bell. Bing. If you didn't like it. Same thing. Like, comment, <laughs> share, subscribe. Leave a comment saying you, uh, you hated it. Say some nasty stuff about me. In all seriousness, we hope that you found this mildly entertaining. Shout out to Julio and Anna of Casal Nacimiento Official for including us in this awesome collaboration and giving us an excuse to make this monstrosity. We had an awesome time making it. Oh. I can't wait to watch their video. Check out their channel, Casal Nacimiento Official. They have some really cool videos. We'll link their channel down below so you can check their stuff out. We hope to see you again. Every Everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and stay hungry. Obrigado por assistir. Hungry couple out. <laughs>